Hello. Hello and welcome to my channel or indeed welcome back. My name is Ashling, and in the spirit of better late than never I'm here to do the booktube newbie tag today. I say better late than never because this is my 10th video going live on YouTube but I still feel very new, I still feel very uncomfortable doing this which is um, interesting. So um, the booktube newbie tag, if you don't know what it is, was created by a booktuber I think in 2014. I can't remember her name off the top of my head. I believe her channel is inactive but I will put it on the screen here once I've done my research. Brain doesn't work. But it's just a series of questions to kind of introduce yourself, introduce your channel. So without further ado, let's get started. So the first question is, why did you start this channel? Well, Ashling, I'm glad you asked. I believe I started this channel back in, was it maybe last July? I, I actually don't know. It was in summer, I think anyway. But last year I was dealing with some really strong anxiety for reasons I'm not going to get into. I don't have much of a routine, um, I'll get into that later, so I just felt like I wanted something to do that would be productive, that would be creative. I like to make things and video is very new for me, so I'm, I'm here for the challenge to be fair. Um, but yeah, I just, I like books and I like talking about books and I'm interested in, you know, the creative challenge. I'm also interested in maybe building a community of fellow book lover friends. My partner Sean, hi Sean, loves to read, uh, but not many other people in my life are all that into books in the way that I am. If you hear some panting, it's my dog. She's fine, don't worry. <laughs> oh, off she goes. loves to lie on the floor. Anyway, so question number two is what are some fun and unique things that you can bring to booktube? This actually is the hardest question on the list for me. I'm like what's unique about me um, amongst the thousands and thousands of booktubers already here? I don't really know. I, I've been thinking about this and I'm like, well, I guess it comes from my perspective, like my own perspective. I'll bring a little bit of chaos. Uh, I'm very forgetful. So when I speak about books, I'm like, I know I finished that yesterday, but I can't remember what happened or I can't remember that character's name or vice versa. So if you're interested in a bit of confusion and a bit of chaos, you'll get that from me. I'm also based in Ireland, um, in the southeast corner of Ireland. Um, which is a lovely spot. So on my vlogs, I'll be bringing you out and about a bit, which I think is cool. Apologies, my dogs decided that they wanted to go out there. So the door has been opened. They can escape. Of course, they decided they wanted to go out and then when I let them out, they immediately followed me back in. So, you know, I love my pets. No, I genuinely do. Okay, question number three is, what are you most excited for about this new channel? <laughs> this is so funny because my channel is not really that new, is it? I'm really interested in creating a routine for myself with something that is creative. I love to make things. I love to be busy with my hands and my brain um, in a creative sense and this mixes things with my love of books. So I'm really just looking forward to picking up that routine now, not dilly-dallying, like kind of getting videos out a little bit more, even if they're not polished, even if they're not perfect. A lot of the time when we're pursuing creative endeavors, we pursue perfection rather than realizing that it's actually about the doing rather than the final product because the final product is out there and that's fine, it's done, but uh, we make these things because we love to do them. And so this is kind of a, it's a new endeavor for me. I studied photography when I was in college for four years, 
but I never touched video. Video is so new to me. I'm really looking forward to it, getting into it a bit more, like understanding my camera that little bit more and the editing process, finding a workflow that really works for me. So that's actually what I'm most excited about is just shooting video. So far, I find it really fun. So we're gonna continue and see how we go. Okay, we're on to question number four which is, it's basically like asking, why do you like breathing? Question number four is, why do you love reading? Why wouldn't I love reading? I've read for as long as I can remember. My mum got me into reading when I was very young. Reading for me, I find it relaxing. I like how it kind of educates me, but not in a forceful way. I learn about different cultures, different people, like people from different walks of life. Like I really love that about reading. Um, it's, it's mad how we can just stare at pieces of a tree and kind of hallucinate vividly. Like, and we all have this different experience. Like if somebody is writing about a house, somehow in my brain, that house looks completely different to the house in your brain. I just kind of, I love that. I think it's fascinating. I love the escapism of it. Life is tough, isn't it? And sometimes it's just nice to, to switch off. But also I really love it because, and this is a reason that came to me kind of later in my life. So as an adult, I have a couple chronic illnesses, which are both chronic pain conditions and a struggle. <laughs> um, I struggle physically. Some days are better than others, but reading is something that I can do even if I am confined to bed and literally just can't do anything. Once my brain is able to switch on, I can read. So it's like the last hobby and it's probably my most important hobby for that reason because it keeps me from just scrolling on my phone and getting really upset about all the things that I can't do. I mean, I can still escape a bit with, with reading. And also with video games as well, uh, particularly with like my Nintendo Switch, because I can play that in bed, whereas my TV is not actually in my bedroom, it's in this room, which is not my bedroom. It's more like my, my office video gaming room. But yes, I love reading because I don't know how to not love reading. I just really love books. <laughs> so we're on to question number five, and it is what book or series got you into reading? I actually don't know because I've been reading since before I can remember. I do remember when I was a kid, my mum and dad used to read me these books and it was like a series of books that I had. And they were little hardback books and they had like, each page was kind of a full page illustration and then a page of text, but the text had little pictures in it. So like for the word squirrel, there would be like a little picture of a squirrel. And I specifically remember there was one with a squirrel in it and I, I loved it. I think with the help of the pictures, so since before I could read, they read me this particular squirrel one so much that I kind of started to learn it by heart and then realized what some of the words actually meant, like written on the page. I couldn't really read properly, but I could read certain words. Um, I started school when I was four, so I started like properly learning to read when I was four. So this was like, I must've been, I don't know, three, I guess, maybe like, very early stages four, and then as I got a little bit older I actually I still have this book it's it's not mine it's my brother's but it's it's on my shelf so I've claimed it the VFG by Roald Dahl I remember my mum reading us this book reading with my mum and that book just I loved it um I went down a deep dark hole of Roald Dahl I guess from the age of five, Matilda, the witches, Danny the champion of the world. I, I just loved Roald Dahl's kid books when I was growing up. So I guess like they're like my earliest memory of things that I was reading. But I used to love like, I remember a lot of Enid Blyton books, um, The Secret Seven, I was really into. I used to have a dog named Scamper of Scamper fame from The Secret Seven. I loved the Babysitter Club books. And then like there was like, remember those Sweet Valley High or like, I think they had like Sweet Valley Junior ones or something. 
I did, I read a lot. I remember in school, they had like a small library in each classroom that was kind of suitable for that age. I essentially read every book in the school. So they got me to go join my local library, which is actually only across the road from my school. I was really lucky. So I spent a lot of time as a kid in my library. Question number six is, what questions would you ask your favorite booktubers? Um, mostly just, hey, do you wanna grab a coffee and talk about books? Question number seven, we're nearly there, is what challenges do you think starting a booktube channel will be hardest to overcome? I am a chronic procrastinator. Case in point, I am doing a printmaking course, have been doing it since October, I have to hand up all my work and kind of all my research and all my background work in two weeks time. I started a few days ago for the whole year. Well done me. Um, yes, yeah, so I am a chronic procrastinator. I'm very easily distracted. I find it really difficult to get down to work. So I think just carving out that time and actually using the time to do the thing is gonna be the, the biggest challenge for me because I am a chronic procrastinator, so easily distracted. And then also with my health, sometimes I just don't feel good. Quite often, I just don't feel good. I'll have to work around that as well. So those are definitely my biggest challenges. When did you start reading? I feel like I've already answered this question. So question number eight is when did you start reading? Um, I don't really remember. I learned to read when I was four, but I feel like I was reading before that or identifying words anyway. The final question is what kinds of books do you like to read? I like literary fiction, contemporary fiction, easy cozy fantasies. I quite enjoy a lot of young adult fantasy. I also really enjoy kind of really nice tender books that aren't, you know, super tense. I know that every story has to have some tension, it has to have something that needs to be resolved so that you have a story. But I don't feel like everything has to be super dramatic. Some of the best things about life are really just gentle, easy things. And I love when authors write about real life in its, like almost in its, its mundanity, its mundaneness. I don't know if either of those are words, but like, but in a good way. Um, and I'm just like, as a bonus, I'm gonna tell you what my favorite book is because I feel like this author is really good at writing that kind of like tender story, which is like gentle, <laughs> you know, um, so in 2018, I had had a surgery on my spine and I was recovering for three months in bed, which was really difficult. At the time, I didn't know what was wrong, but I knew that something was really wrong, hadn't gone well. And so I asked my mum to pick me up a few books when she was out because I just wanted something to read. And I had seen two books recommended. One was The Goldfinch by Donna Tart, but that's not what I'm gonna talk about right now. I loved that book, by the way. The book I want to talk about, this is my favorite book ever. Ever, ever, ever. It's Tin Man by Sarah Winman. It is my most purchased book. It is my most gifted book. I couldn't tell you how many times I've bought this book. It is beautiful. I'm gonna read the back because this is the kind of thing that is like my bread and butter. So it begins with a painting won in a raffle. 15 sunflowers hung on the wall by a woman who believes that men and boys are capable of beautiful things. And there are two boys, Ellis and Michael, who are inseparable. And the boys become men, and then Annie walks into their lives, and it changes nothing and everything. Tin Man sees Sarah Winman follow the acclaimed success of When God Was a Rabbit and A Year of Marvellous Ways with a love letter to human kindness and friendship, lost and living. Doesn't that just sound impeccable? I'm also going to give a shout out to her latest book, which is called Still Life, really worth checking out. So yeah, that's me. That's my booktuber newbie tag, even though I'm not really a newbie anymore, but shh, it's grand I am. Thank you for watching. It's It's been fun. Uh, I hope you're keeping well. If you have any more questions for me, shoot. If you have any books to recommend, please do. I am gonna head off and maybe do some work. Here's hoping. And hopefully I will talk to you next week. If you are of that kind of persuasion, I would love if you could like and or subscribe. Otherwise, 
Have a lovely day and I'll see you next week. Mind yourself. Bye bye.